Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy, Stumped, back for the OPTC video. And in today's video, we're diving into level 150 against Maha with two teams in this particular video that don't use an Ezo friend captain. However, I did put together this team in a previous video. So if you guys want a team that uses an Ezo friend captain without any of the new batch, any of the boosters, this particular team can actually get it done. It's led by Luffy Yamato. It works exceptionally well. I think I put it out in... Um, my initial uh, 100 plus video with a Ben Beckman Lucky Roo team. Unfortunately, the Ben Beckman Lucky Roo team didn't have the damage, but this team, it definitely did. It takes one turn of stall. It's not that big of a deal. Um, the team works exceptionally well and has a lot of damage output. However, in today's video, we're going to be focusing on teams without a friend Captain Ezo. So the first team looks a little bit like this. It's led by Luffy Yamato with a friend Captain Nami. That's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, I did put out a level 150 plus with a Nami lead. However, if you guys don't have Nami yourself or you don't have a rainbow Nami, utilizing her as a friend captain does work nicely. You just need to use a few other replacements. For the replacements, we're using um, the actual Nami on the team, the one from the Yamato batch, as well as um, for this team, PvP Ace. Now, PvP Ace was actually a phenomenal unit because they, he just directly replaced um, Luffy and Ace on this team. That way you can still use the wipe support if you need the despair removal. Um, plus he has barrier pen. He, he just works absolutely perfectly for this particular variation of the team. I do have two two variations. Um, both of them don't use the VV support. I did see that VV, the VV support is a, like, is a problem for some, for some people. Having Sanji was a problem for some people. But hopefully most of you guys have this Nami Rare Recruit because she's just exceptionally good for this particular team to work. If you don't have the Nami Rare Recruit, don't stress. You could easily just still use Rayleigh Gabon. Rayleigh Gabon will still work if you have Rayleigh Gabon or anyone that can remove a special mind for that matter. Um, that should work absolutely fine. On stage three against Apu. As you guys can see, we are on three turns of swaps and I, I did keep the Wano Orb moving into stage three so that way I don't have to worry about the Super Bomb. Um, Perona basically takes care of the stage. She gets rid of the Special Mind. She gets rid of the Burn. She gets rid of the Attack Down. If you don't have this Perona and the, and the Kuma support, look, I'm, I'm really sorry, but um, it's going to be a little bit challenging for you. Um, Kuma you can pick up in the Metal Exchange Shop if you really, really want to pick him up. Go for Gold there. However, there are some teams that are floating around without Perona. It's just, look, she's the most accessible um, or the most buildable option because she's literally a free-to-play character and that Kuma swap has been out forever. On the stage against King and Queen, you're basically going to take care of the Bind and the Paralysis thanks to your captains. You do want to switch into Yamato here though. That is the most important part. Switching into Yamato and then having your, your charges either at 1 or at max is actually fairly important here. But it's actually not the end of the world because... Uh, Luffy Yamato, whilst they hit very, very hard, they're not the be-all or end-all for this team. If you don't have the Zora support. The Zora support can remove the barriers on the final stage. But if you don't have Zora and using Whitebeard, being in Luffy or Yamato, it, it's really not going to make that much of a difference. On the second turn against King, you're utilizing the Nami special for the second time. You do want to use Nami to remove the damage reduction against Apu. And then you her again here to remove the damage reduction on King. And as you can see, it's a very, very easy kill there. No issues whatsoever. You can actually use um, the... Uh, oh, well, you, you actually don't know. You want to use the swap of Luffy Yamato on the first turn, and then you want to use the, the Nami special on the second turn. On the final stage against Maha, he has one turn of a barrier for 20 hits, six turns of threshold, six turns of defense up, six turns of despair, and six turns of special wind. Or five turns of special wind, I think. Very, very annoying stuff. But we're going to switch with Luffy Yamato here. Very important that you switch with you use Luffy Yamato, remove the special bind, and then use the Luffy Yamato special. You don't want to give Nami a Wano Orb here, because if Nami gets a Wano Orb here, then she's going to um, not have access to her Super Tandem. So very important that you do that. We're going to use the Sanji special to rotate the Block Orbs. Ace can actually also rotate Block Orbs, which is really, really nice. Have Sanji switch into your Captain and then switch him out of the Captain. The six times Captain of Luffy Yamato is just too godly. And then the super tight, uh, sorry, the super class of Sanji is just super helpful. Then you can use the Nami uh, super class that's going to remove the rest of the threshold. And then Ace is going to be an attack boost. Now, Ace can also remove threshold. That's why you don't need the VV support here. I have the VV support on this team literally just for more damage. Um, I really want to showcase that. You can use the rush of Sanji here. You can really only get like two or three taps in, um, but that's fine. We just want that multiply that he gives to strength characters. Then you can activate the super tandem of Nami. As you can see, you have to hit with Luffy Yamato there. And you just do a butt ton of damage. Like, it's just, it's crazy. However, if the barrier is still there, 
your Nami and your Ace are going to be the ones hitting really, really hard. But remember, the free, the the color affinity is only for Ace. It's not for Nami. So, so just be mindful of that when you are doing your taps. Um, you kind of want to hit with Perona just to like build up the chain and then really finish that hard-hitting uh, shot with Ace. Let's move on to the second variation now. The second variation looks a little bit like this. And instead of PvP Ace, we're actually utilizing Treasure Map Ace. Now, Treasure Map Ace did get a level limit break buff. So you can actually make this team better. Mine's only level limit break one because like I couldn't give a rat's ass about treasure map base. But I do think he has a very, very good level limit break. And if you have him at level five, you, you are going to be in good stead. To make up for the threshold removal and then not using the VV support, we're actually utilizing Usohachi on this team. Usohachi works exceptionally well. He removes defense up and he removes threshold. This team doesn't use Rush Sanji, which a lot of people were saying that they were sort of missing and sort of struggling with. And you do have some options with supports. If you don't have Zoro, you can use the white bid support on Treasure Map uh, Ace. If you don't have the um, the Konus support, you can use the Brook support on Nami. If you don't have the Brook support, you can use the Konus support. And you also have access to Bath Time Carrot. That's another option to remove defense up. Uh, it all works out pretty nicely here. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch into Luffy on turn one. We're going to kill something so that way we get a super swap charge. Um, you're going to swap and then basically you just want to build up your your uh, your Luffy swaps. Unfortunately with these teams though, because Nami is our uh, friend captain, we do need to stall a couple extra turns. If you have Nami as your own captain, you can make it a, like, a, like a lower stall. However, the damage output nearly isn't nearly as large and, and the security of the team is a little bit lacking compared to what these teams actually are. So you do want to stall out to make sure that Nami gets down to two turns before you move on to the third turn. It's very important that you have Nami special ready to go by turn three against Apu. And ideally, you want to make sure you have a Wano Orb on your captain. Otherwise, you are going to be struggling with a Super Bomb slot. It's not the end of the world um, if you do have a Super Bomb slot. But look, it just makes this particular kill against uh, Apu very easy. Now, if you're in the situation that I'm in right here, and you're on one turn of um, swap charge, just make sure you don't tap with Luffy. If you're on two turns of swap charge, make sure to tap with Luffy. If you're on three turns of swap charge, make sure to tap with Luffy. You want to kill with Luffy. That's the main goal there. However, with the Nami special, with the um, color affinity and the attack boost that Perona can give, uh, provided you have a color affinity boost, which you can get from the swap of Luffy Yamato, um, the rare recruit Nami unit is hitting ridiculously hard. Like She is just all your damage. And you're just in for a really, really good time with that unit. On the King and Queen stage, you're going to remove the Paralysis and the Blind thanks to your Captains. And ideally, again, we're going to focus on Queen here. Utilizing the switch of Luffy and Yamato is going to give us the Color Affinity buff to our free Spirit units. Which means that Ace and Usohachi are going to be hitting very, very hard. So make sure to hit them with them like at the back end of your chain. Um, kind of not like what I did there. But uh, remember, Usohachi can have max Barrier Pen if you guys have maxed him out. And like I said, Ace is only plus 200 cotton candy. So he can be stronger, plus his level limit break, um, level 150, all that sort of stuff makes him just way stronger. On the second turn against King, use the Nami special once again, remove the damage reduction that he fits up. And then um, you can easily just take him out literally by doing nothing here. Like you just, like that Nami special gives you so much. It's so good. Because you're getting seven turns of paralysis times six, which is a lot. <laughs> it's uh, a good like 42 turns. Which is a lot of base stats that Nami's giving. Like, Nami as captain when you get paralyzed is just so good. On the final stage, you get to Maha. Uh, like I said, if you guys don't have um, Zoro, you can use the support of Whitebeard on uh, Ace. That's going to remove Despair. And you can use anything on Luffy Yamato. Uh, to get around defense up, I was using Brook support. But you also have Konus. You also have Carrot. You do have options there. But if you have the uh, Zoro support, like I said, the Zoro support is just the best thing to use for this team because he not only removes despair but he removes the he removes the barrier as well which is so good um once again make sure to use the um luffy yamato special before you use the ace special ace is going to rotate the block orbs the yd base support it's just a chain boost um that's the only reason it's there it's not essential uh it's just more damage output and if you remove the barrier with on um, that zora support this team does absolute bits make sure to tap with uh perona first and then you can tap into luffy yamato and once again you do a lot of damage. So, there you guys go. That's two teams. Four level 150. Taking on Pika A Maha with no Ezo friend captain. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Why down there. Bell, like button. Hit the subscribe button. Do all that good stuff for me. Most importantly, whether you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Le